Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we will create this model here in FreeCAD as a practical exercise 26. So to create this model in FreeCAD, we will use these dimensions here in this page. So let's create this model. So here we select this icon to create new file and here we change to part design workbench. We create board, create sketch in YZ plane. Here we go to sketch geometers and select this rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle. Now delete this line here and select this polyline tool and and then close this sketch here. Okay, and now let's constrain this sketch. So first here we select this constraint here and we select these two lines. Now this tool and we select these two lines now this equal constraint and we select these two lines okay and then we constrain this point to this origin point coincident okay and now let's give dimensions to this sketch so in this page we see that we see okay we see this dimension here, this dimension, and these dimensions here, and this angle. Okay, so we come back to this model, and first we select this vertical distance tool, and here we change the length of this line to 15. Okay, and select this horizontal distance tool, and constrain the length of this line to 200. Okay, and now select this angle tool, select this line and this line and here set 150 and now select this tool here and here we'll say okay the dimension here is 95 and now close this sketch press home and select this pad tool and here check this option symmetric to plane and and the link here is is 90 we see here click ok and now select this face here and create new sketch select this tool and extract this edge here select cycle tool and draw this cycle clicking this point here and now what we have to do is to Switch to section view and here we select this horizontal distance constraint. No, we select this horizontal constraint and we select this origin point and now this point here. And the sketch is full constrained. Close this sketch, go to pad tool, and here we check this option, reverse it, and here we set the link to 15 and then click OK. And now we select this face here and create new sketch. And here we use this tool here to extract the edge of this part. And select this cycle tool and we draw this cycle here. And in this page we see that the value of the cycle, the diameter of the cycle must be 7. Okay, and the pad is 15. So we select this tool here and here we constrain this diameter to 70 and then close this sketch. Now we go to this pad tool and we change the link to 15. Click OK and then select this face here. Go to this tool here, this wall tool. Here we change this diameter to, to this dimension 50. Okay, here we set 50. Okay, and we change this to okay 45. Okay, click OK. And now we select this edge here and we go to chamfer tool. And here we change the type to two distance. Okay. And here we see that we have this dimension here and we have this diameter and this diameter here. So let's do that. So here will be 15. 
Okay, change here to 14. Okay, and here we'll say, here we'll say, no, sorry. Here we'll say 7 to minus 6 to 2. And okay. Okay, so now we have this and then close these. Okay, and now we now we select this edge here and go to chamfer tool again and click in this add button and add this edge here. Click here again and here we change the type to to distance again. Okay, in this page we see that we have this we have this dimension here 50. Okay, and we have this dimension and we have this dimension here. Okay. Yes. Okay, we have this dimension. Okay, so here will be 50 and here will be okay let's see that here we have 90 and we have this 15 and this radius okay so here will be will be 90 minus minus 7 Okay, click OK. Now press on and select this face here and create new sketch. And here we go to select this slot tool and draw this slot here. Okay. And here we see that okay, the distance between this line here to the center of this arc is 50 and the range of this fillet is 20. So come back here and first we, sell, we constrain this radius to 20. Now select this tool here and extract this edge. Select this constraint vertical and constrain these two points. And now close this sketch. Go to pocket tool. And here we see that the value of this pocket is five. So here we click OK. Now I select this edge here and go to chamfer tool. Here I change the type to, to distance. And here we see that we have this dimension 10 and the distance between this line here to this line is 50. So let's see that. Here is 10. Sorry. No, here is five, and here will be will be fifty. Okay, and then close the sketch, and now we create a new sketch in YZ plane. Okay, and here we switch to section view, and then we extract this edge and this edge. And we select this polyline tool and we draw this sketch here. Okay, make this line here horizontal. Okay, and now let's see the dimension for this sketch. So, okay, here we have this distance here. Okay, and we have this distance. So we come back to this model and select this vertical distance tool and we constrain these two points to to this dimension and here we we select this horizontal distance tool and here we set 90 okay and then we close sorry we have 90 here okay the dimension here will be 
this 90 and then the radius of this of this lot here so okay here double click and will be 90 plus 15 and then close this sketch here and go to this pad tool set metric to plane and here we see this dimension 45 so we change here to this dimension and then click ok and now we select this face here and we create a new sketch and here first we select this tool and extract this edge here and now switch to section view and select this slot tool and here we draw this slot okay vertical and here we set these two lines equal okay constraint these two points horizontal constraint and no here must be constant okay control z okay select these two points here and constant okay now we have to constrain the radius of this slot so here we see this value 15 so select this tool here and here set 15 and then close this sketch go to pad tool and here we see that the value of the pad is 25 25 and click ok and now we select this face here and we create new sketch from this face and then we extract this edge and this edge select this slot tool and draw the slot between these two points and now we question this radius to 7.5 and then close this sketch and go to this pocket tool and here we set triangle and okay so okay guys we finished we created this model so okay guys so thank you for watching this video